in through sign. Then it reminded me of one of my cousins who was deaf, and I wanted to solve that problem. I started looking at at the solution, like what could be the potential solution to it, and I thought maybe there there needs to be a solution which would convert the voices what we have in the surrounding to something visual. I looked into the various pro, uh, various solution which we have in the market now, like for example Google Lenses. It has the it has the potential to solve the problem, but it is not catering to the problem now. So then I came up with the solution which is Wokia. Basically, it's a projector mounted on a glass. So what will happen is whatever voice is going around us would be converted uh, from voice to text via mobile app, and then it would be transmitted to, through Bluetooth to the projector. And this projector would be basically uh, projecting alphabets to the glass. So the experience would be kind of same what we have the subtitle for the movies. This solution has the potential of uh, transforming the life of 300,000 Americans who are deaf. Uh, so currently, I'm uh, so I'm looking for an investment of fifty thousand dollars, and I'm ready to give five percent of my company. This money would be utilized for designing the application, as as well as the module which could be mounted on glass, and the target price of around seventy five dollars. When I was doing the customer discovery, I realized that this product can also be applied for people who are dealing with different languages in translation as well as dealing with accents or uh, for navigation. And when the next time I speak, you need not to be bothered with my Indian accent. With uh, so the problem with Google Glasses, if people is not uh, comfortable using Google Glasses, because they have the camera in front of them, and it, it is basically recording all the data which is there in the front of their eyes. People, it's kind of like attacking their privacy as well. So people are not uh, convenient with it. So I wanted to have something elegant, as in like, which won't be hampering your privacy, as well as it would be cheaper. You described a projector. I wasn't clear what part of that was. Is that part of the So the projector would basically be there in this side and it would be sending data and it would be projecting on the sides of the class. You have a prototype? Uh, no, I, I was kind of like developing the idea, uh, looking into the business side, and at the same time, I'm looking to work with the technical side. When you look at Tom Chi, who developed Google Glass, because his first prototype he developed within about an hour with like a small light projector, and he just iterated, iterated. So, you know, you don't necessarily need $50,000 to turn it into a Yeah. Contestants, we are going to take a brief intermission so that if anybody wants to get up, stretch your legs, uh, use the restroom, um, and I'll give you forewarning as well, and that's about to happen. So, but coming up next, presenting is Clark Sprague. All right. If Clark comes in, anyone knows him, and then he comes in, let me know, and then I'll have him later. All right. Up next, uh, Deanna Sprague. Alrighty. Coming up next, we've got Erica and Erica Austin and Kyle uh, Shuknek. information sometimes is difficult because most places have 
regulations, and there's an array of misinformation on the internet. We are here to ease the pain, the time and effort it takes to research and piece together all of that information. We seek to provide all the information regarding sustainable living and expand the influence of, the, of an environmentally conscious culture across the planet to reduce the destruction to our ecosystem. Our app will have maps providing locations uh, to recycle every category of recyclable, an encyclopedia of sustainable practices, and push notifications with helpful tips with the most accurate, accurate quality information possible. With a revenue stream from ads, ad removal, and partner companies, we hope to expand our app to reach everyone and anyone interested in environmentally friendly tips. Together, we can reverse the effects of climate change. One, I admire what you're doing. I, I'm a big advocate of this. But, and it, I find that what you're trying to do would be very useful in multiple, many, most communities around the United States and around the world. Because it's very difficult to find out what you should recycle, what's recyclable. that are doing work and I would encourage you to take a look at their apps. In the city of Austin, Texas is why they've got a goal zero landfill um, for I think garbage and recycling everything possible. And they've developed an app too, so you might want to compare it to some type of competition in the urban environment. We'll have to open up. Thank you very much. <laughs> we can, uh, we're, we're, we plan to have ad removal on the app store for like a dollar. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So up next, presenting, we got Shabham Jane. After that will be uh, Michael Betts and Nate Ajoy. They are. If it is easier to come up on this side if you're on the far left, or they had walked up that way. I know it's too late now. Or you can go in the hallway around. And then, okay. perfect. After uh, Michael and Nate, we're going to have Sean and Marcus. So if you do want to come up and wait here on the side, that works perfectly. My name is Nate Joy, And I am Michael Betts. Um, this year, 65% of Americans admitted to drinking some sort of alcohol. The backpack keg will help enhance this experience. The <laughs> <laughs> backpack keg is shaped like a camelback with an aluminum outside. The backpack keg will have padding for support on the back as well as tap on the bottom and mouse on the top. This will hold approximately 45 12 ounce beers and will weigh approximately 35 pounds and will be able to re be refilled just like a normal keg. What problem does this solve? This eliminates having to drag a cooler around or an arm full of drinks. It keeps everyone in your group happy and satisfied at all times. <laughs> it will be used for vendors at sporting events, bars, and tailgates everywhere. This will be used to refill drinks for personal use. Why is this important? Beer is a major part of any event, whether it's sporting or social. With the backpack keg, our goal is to again illuminate the castle and make these events even more enjoyable for the people. This idea will be very impactful for vendors and bars at work, as well as changing the tailgating experience. Thank you very much.
All right, so next up uh, we have Sean, and then after Sean, uh, we're going to take a quick uh, five to ten minute break. Actually, let's just make a ten minute break as we use the restroom, stretch your legs, um, and we go up a little bit. So, all right, Sean. institutions have kept pace with the technology. This tough democracy. Voters are angry. They're frustrated. They feel disenfranchised. Some claim democracy is dead, or at least in decline. Well, I have a solution for you. It's called Voices Matter, and it's a democratic delivery system, or robotic representation. So, what's the, what's the benefit here? Well, right now we have polarized political parties that have gridlock are getting nothing done. There's all kinds of other things that are fighting against democracy. Uh, voter suppression, gerrymandering, big money. The benefits of this system, it eliminates all that, even political parties. So, how is this actually done? Well, each voter would have a political comprehensive profile that they create, which lists all the issues of the day, which they feel very strongly about. It's weighted, and it's put into a decision matrix. Then, all the, de all the decision matrix of all the voters from a certain district are aggregated into a giant database, and then that then is programmed into the Voices Matter algorithm or operating system of our robot representatives or democratic delivery system that we were talking about. <clears throat> so, 